Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. For a mother, some of the most joyous moments in life come after giving birth to a child, but not for Janet Jackson. When Jackson gave birth to her son, Isa Almana, in 2017, the months that followed were tainted by her custody battle with her ex-husband, Bassam Almana. Jackson and Almana have a long history with each other. The couple got engaged in 2011 and walked down the aisle just one year later. During their marriage, fans of the All For You singer noticed that she had lived a much more private life than she had previously. So fans were shocked when Jackson revealed she was pregnant with her first child. Jackson's pregnancy was uneventful. But a couple of months after she welcomed her little bundle of joy, the singer announced that she and Almana were beginning the process of divorce per people. Jackson said, Yes, I separated from my husband. We are in court now, and the rest is in God's hands. Jackson's older brother Randy told the outlet that the couple's marriage was anything but picture perfect. Randy claimed that Jackson dealt with verbal abuse throughout her marriage to Almana and was a prisoner in her own home. While the divorce was already ugly with a financial battle, it only worsened when Jackson and Almana began their custody battle over their son, Isa. Janet Jackson is willing to do anything for the well-being of her son, even if that means reportedly calling the cops on Almana. According to E.T., when Jackson and Almana decided to divorce, they initially wanted to have equal custody of their son. However, things changed over time and Jackson desired full custody of their child. Just like Jackson, Almana wasn't happy with the current custody agreement. The outlet reports that the Qatari billionaire was upset because he had to have a caregiver present while Isa was in his care. A source revealed to E.T. that the singer was constantly anxious about leaving Isa with Almana. The history of verbal abuse and control that she has faced in her relationship had her worried that Almana would act the same toward their child. The source said, Janet feels completely out of control during Wissam's visitations with their baby and worries non-stop. Jackson's concern over her son was so consuming that she reportedly called the cops on Almana in 2018. Page 6 spoke with authorities over the situation, and they revealed nothing was out of the ordinary, they said. There was no evidence of any crime. The baby was fine, so there was no report taken. Clearly, the couple is not on the same page when it comes to Isa, and there's one major reason why. There was one major parenting difference Jackson and Almana had when it came to their son. The previously married couple could not agree on which religion they would raise Isa to follow. Jackson had an upbringing in the Jehovah's Witness faith, whereas Almana grew up with Muslim traditions. As the singer got older, she gradually let go of her Jehovah's Witness religion but remained spiritual. So when it came to raising Isa, the couple couldn't agree on which religion they would instill in their son. A source revealed to E.T. in 2018, Janet and Bassam are on complete opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to raising Isa, and this has made their split even worse. She wants a Western world upbringing, and Bassam would like his son to learn his upbringing. The co-parents were extremely passionate about how they should raise their child, but it is unclear which route they decided to take. There was one thing Jackson and Almana agreed on, and that included keeping Isa's life private. Jackson has lived a very public life, and like many celebrities, she wants her child to have a normal upbringing. That's all for today. Thank you for tuning in.